There is a new indoor roller skating rink in Northeast. It's also, by the way, the only indoor skating rink in D.C. Talk about a throwback. News Force Tommy McFly joins us from Kraken Courts and Skates in Edgewood. Tommy, so you can roller skate? You're not, hurt, you're not gonna hurt yourself, are you? Uh, first day on roller skates. Other duties as assigned. But fun fact, the roller skates make you like three inches taller. So I wish I had started this 30 years ago. Did you know that the land where the Kennedy Center is now used to be a rolling skate rink and arena? There were 14 roller arenas all around the district that were all gone. The last one closed 30 years ago. And now Anna Valero and the team here at Kraken Courts and Skates brought skating back to the district. Why would you do it? I mean, look at this crowd here today, Tommy. Do we need more of a reason than this? We are just so honored to be able to continue the great history of roller skating that's already been in D.C. and to give it a home here at Kraken Courts and Skates. The folks at Kraken also run Hook Hall. And when can people skate? When can they get involved? Where are we? Because everyone's been asking. I've been getting tweets and I've been getting Instagram messages. How do we get here? We're in the Bryant Street Northeast uh, development right at 5th and Rhode Island Ave. And we're going to have six skating sessions every day from early morning skate to late night adult skate after nine. We're going to have DJs. It's going to be a party, Tommy. This place is 70,000 square feet. And we talked to Salita Coleman, who runs We Skate DC and also a producer on the documentary United Skates, about what a big deal this is. We have been trying to bring roller skating back to cities all over the country, and D.C. should have been one of the first to get here. D.C. skaters didn't have indoor space for a really long time, so they begin road skating. They've always skated down at Anacostia Park, and then we've had lots of pop-up events in roller skating. The ownership here and, and the business that brought this facility here, I don't think they realized the call that they answered. People have been protesting and picketing for rinks in D.C. the last decade or so. And a lot of people are breathing easier tonight because they know they can skate in the city this weekend and not drive an hour. Oh my gosh, uh, and Leon, the talent of DC skaters is incredible. So I, I was thinking, talk to my friends, coming up here on News 4 to 5, we're going to have a little skate talent show. You're going to see some DC homegrown tricks and skills right here on News 4 wow, at 5 because wow. it's the first time We've had indoor skating in D.C. in three decades, oh, so we got to turn it up. I see, I see someone behind you turning uh, and skating backwards. Back yep. A and lot of moves. And that's without music. Where's the music, Tommy? It's all going on. Right. You know, couple skates. Well, we can't play music on TV, so that's why. Ah, uh, <laughs> there, there, there's that, Be too. careful. Be careful. Look at this. Look Don't at we got show some, off. Okay. We got some splits and stretches. Wow. All the things. This is very exciting. You oh, guys, exciting. you're amazing. This is amazing. That's cool. That's I'm going cool. against the current. We're having a blast down here at Cracking Course and Skates. All right. Well, don't do any cracking into those poles, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank all right, you, Tommy. <laughs>